Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. So this video is about water purification uh, basically on the cheap and um, keeping it light, keep it simple and effective. So here I've got some standard domestic household bleach. Um, this is the standard bleach that is unscented. You want the basic unscented bleach for this. And um, I choose to carry a bit of bleach in one of these small vials. You know, you don't need a lot of this. Um, the rough equation is two drops of bleach per litres of water, you know, to purify your water. So if you haven't got access to water purification tablets or potassium permanganate, things along them lines, and you haven't got time or you're in a situation where you can't boil water for whatever reason, um, then this is a good alternative, a little bit of bleach. So... As you all know, I'm a big advocate of keeping a couple of zip top, uh, zip lock bags in your kit for water collection, which I've done here. And hopefully, as you can see, I've got the dirtiest, horriblest looking water you can find. This has got soil particles, leaf particles, um, remnants from an old fire, everything in there. So it's absolutely murky black. Approximately a litre in there. You know, because you know that's what these are designed to carry. That's why I recommend that you do carry these. So what I'm going to do is the trusty old straw there as well, the one we've done. Let's carefully open this bag. Pinch, pinch like two thirds of it together in one hand so it don't spill everywhere. Take our little vial of uh, bleach, and because there's roughly a litre in here, we're going to put two drops of household bleach thereabouts into that and because it's churned up and murky and the bleach has got to do its thing reseal it and we're going to sit that down let it rest for 30 minutes 40 minutes to be safe you know give it a good squish about let all the debris and the rubbish settle to the bottom let it clear and then I'll uh, cut back and show you that it is actually perfectly drinkable. So again, that's why I recommend carrying these bags and a straw. Obviously, once it's clear, I'm going to open this bag up, pull that in the corner and take a drink from it. So as you can see, you know, this is worst case. <laughs> Hopefully, if you catch rainwater, I mean, rainwater is pretty well good to go, pretty much good to go straight off. But if you're using water from a stream, a lake, a brook or a pond, you know, avoid stagnant water if you can. Always try and collect fresh running water. Um, I've got lots of water videos coming up, you know, collection, purifying and filter, so stay tuned as they say. Um, so we'll give this off an hour, 40 minutes, and I'll, uh, I'll show you me actually drinking this stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, I've, uh, I've let the water stand for about half an hour. It's still very murky, and there's still a lot of debris floating because it's wood-based, so... But what I'm going to do now is prove the fact that you can actually drink this stuff. So open one corner and I can just smell that faint whiff of like chlorine. It shouldn't be overpowering, it shouldn't be dead strong, just like tap water where you've got that smell of chlorine coming through. So I'm going to add the straw in there, sink it below the surface, but not right down to the bottom where I'm not going to go into the sediment. And... Mm drink that water it's actually quite clean mm. yeah that's not too bad at all so just try and get this in camera shot here mm. I'm drinking this stuff mm. so a quick little tip it does work it's very effective um, water purification using the bleach method why not you know it's worth keeping all this stuff in the memory bank and it's light to carry it's simple to use um, another little tip that I would recommend is your straw if you've got a standard party straw you know one of these it's got one of these like a bendy top get yourself some whether you're a smoker or not ultra ultra thin um, cigarette filters I mean these are about one pound UK sterling for hun literally hundreds of them you know I don't know how many is in here but there's hundreds 
take one of those little filters, pop it in the end of your straw, because they do fit just nice and snug, suck it up. Hope you heard that, it shoots up and it shoots up to the bend. I don't know if you can see this picking up, but it shoots up. It won't go past the corrugated bend. That acts as an extra filter. So throw some of those in your kit along with your bag, your straw and a little bit of bleach. Just demonstrate again. I can just open the bag up, drop the straw in and away we go again. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a good drink, and it does get rid of a lot of the debris because of the extra filtration. So, again, it's a top little tip, really. It's well worth remembering that you know you don't have to carry a lot of heavy equipment with you to gather safe drinking water. That's a worst case scenario. Um, situation you know with this muddy horrible stagnant water but you know highly recommend a little vial of bleach I mean as you've seen you know two drops for a litre there's literally you know hundreds of drops really in a small vial that you can just chuck in your pocket with a bag and a couple of straws maybe even some cigarette filters you can even pre-load the straws with the filter or filters you can use as many as you like you know why not? Top little tip. Anyway, take care out there. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah.